We need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. If we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. What is going on you guys? So today I want to talk about a very common grip, the mixed grip or the over under grip and how it can actually lead to causing asymmetries. And you see this most commonly with the deadlift but I'm going to show you some other exercises and just e explain how they can possibly lead to an asymmetry. So the first one, shrugs. Now I see a lot of people actually do this specifically with shrugs. They'll grab the barbell in that over under position. Depending on the person it varies. But they'll come up and just shrug it normal. Or another exercise that's commonly like this. They'll go into the bend over row and row the weight. Now, the problem. The problem with the mixed grip is it's, it puts your body in a different position. So if you're going over double overhand, see your arms are in the same position. Where if you go over under, now our whole like anatomical structure has changed. And that can lead to an asymmetry because you may be recruiting different muscles. So say one side is stronger than the other, since you're in that different position, one could be lagging while one could be overpowering. And that's really important for muscle building that you actually put all the emphasis on the exact same muscle group for both arms. So if say you do, already do have an asymmetry, you do unilateral work to try to fix that problem. If you're doing things, if you're doing exercises with both arms and they're in different positions, you can be screwing yourself over in the long run. You may not notice right away, but say like for shrugs, you're doing this one, sh one trap may end up being a little bigger than the other one. And that's literally just because of how you may be holding the barbell. So what I would recommend for exact, definitely for an exercise with like shrugs or rows, you should definitely, re I would definitely recommend you wear straps. And just because you're not working your grip out in those exercises. You're literally just trying to build some muscle and for traps you're trying to work, for shrugs you're trying to work your traps, rows you're trying to work your back. So why do you really care about your grip? So I say put on some straps and make sure you're building the muscles correctly. Now, for a lot of people will say, what about the deadlift? Well, Let's set that up. So, a lot, most of the times you see people who go raw lifting, put on some shock, and they'll do, they'll do the mixed grip. Come up, and it's fine. Okay, we're going for a one rep max, we'll say right there. All right, we're going for strength purposes. I'm not too worried about my grip or the actual side of the muscle building, but specifically if I'm trying to muscle build, say I'll do four sets for the deadlift, you're going to want to try to mix up that grip to make it more even. I completely understand the raw lifting, you don't want to use straps. Okay, but then at least switch it up. So do four sets, make it even. You always want to train every muscle evenly to make your body as symmetrical as possible. And mixed grip, a lot of people actually confuse it because when you're doing that, you say you do this, you say you do top, left on top, right on bottom for the entire time you work out for like three years. You're literally training in a different position. This, hand, this arm is going to be literally recruiting more of the bicep. You could be doing more shoulder work with the overhand. It really, you're really just developing a weakness and you don't want to do that. I'm 100% not saying don't use the mixed grip, but just understand what it could actually be doing to you. I, I, I'm a big advocate for wearing straps, wraps, whatever, mainly because that's not my purpose in that exercise. Like, I'll put on some wrist wraps for bicep curls. And the reason I'm doing that is literally because I'm working my biceps. I don't care about my wrists. Um, for straps, I definitely recommend training with straps simply because you just want to build your muscle proportionally. And so, I hope you guys like this quick tip video. Definitely make sure you go to anablockhands.com for online coaching. Hit that subscribe button, swing a like, share it, peace. Five minutes long, okay? When I say flat right here, this is the first minute we're gonna be flat. The treadmill is gonna be at a zero incline. We're gonna be going as fast as we can. 